said it was going to be easy. Okay, Jesus' ideas about marriage are not like our modern ideas about marriage. Actually, Jesus' ideas about marriage weren't like the ancient Jews' ideas about marriage. Basically, there's never been a time when Jesus' teaching on the permanence of marriage was considered normal. In Mark 10, Jesus teaches, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. Yeah, this one just got uncomfortable. Hey, I know divorce is not an uncommon thing in our society, but that doesn't make it a good thing. In fact, biblically speaking, it's a very, very bad thing. If you read St. Paul, it becomes clear that people who knew Jesus, or at least knew a guy who knew Jesus, took this seriously to the married. However, I give this instruction, not I, but the Lord. A wife should not separate from her husband, and if she does separate, she must either remain single or become reconciled to her husband, and a husband should not divorce his wife. But sometimes people change. They fall out of love, or they grow apart. No, sorry, that's just not an option. Love isn't a feeling, it's a decision. Look at Christ's love for us. Romans 5.8 tells us that God proves his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. The cross wasn't a feeling, it was a choice. Love is a fighter. Think about it. Christ was literally beaten to the point that he was unrecognizable as a man, and yet he still fought to the cross. It wasn't fun, it wasn't romantic, it wasn't easy. And guess what? That's the way we're called the love in marriage. Husbands, love your wives even as Christ loved the church and handed himself over for her. Marriage is not easy. Okay, without grace it might actually be impossible, so pray. If you're unmarried, pray for your future's vocation. Pray for your husband. Pray for your wife. Pray that God is working in you. If you are married, start fighting. Not against your spouse, but for them. If you feel beaten down, get back up. Pray for the grace to love like Christ loved. Christ died for us while we were still sinners. He came not to be served, but to serve. And Remember, this is a hard one. It was hard when Jesus taught it. It's been countercultural since the beginning, but it is what we as Christians are called to in marriage.